Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. I'm your guy, Ninja Killer 74 and we're about to get right back into the mix with this boss fight right here in the industrial park. Let's do it. SpongeBob's in for a rough ride. Yep. Do see do, and around you go. This is actually a bit easier to see because uh, when he used to spin in the first version of this game, you couldn't, you didn't get to see where those the landed. Made himself dizzy. He's coming down here and just and hit him right where that kick me sign is. You get away from him because he's gonna do that. Woo! All the boss do fights move so much faster, by the way, in this version. This boy nice. Like a smell of bubbles in the morning. Smells like victory. <laughs> and a little spit. And he's gonna spin, spin, spin. You go. We're gonna dodge all these. I mean, he's not even hitting us right now. You want to get used to oh, the bubble bowl, the by the way, because you're gonna be using that. I had to do that. I was missing that, uh, I was on the... I guess I was too far on the side, so Spongebob's gonna go up to stay Squidward, and he's gonna get frozen. What is Sandy going to do to get Spongebob on Frozen? So what you wanna do with Sandy here, actually, is you wanna spin around on these, uh, these, these, uh, Texas things here, because they create blocks. Oh, and the robot is down! Because what's gonna happen change tactics is that if you don't do that, he's gonna do this and fill it up with that uh, that liquid. That hot goo could melt anything. So you want to do this just so you can have somewhere to land so you can hit him uh, when you're Sandy. Down. We're gonna come over here. Land here. Over here. Okay. Change tactics. There we go. Fast. And we can get the hell out of there. One more douse with that stuff, and SpongeBob will be back in the ring. So essentially, he's melting SpongeBob and Squidward with uh, all this uh, industrial Great waste Barrier ice cream. Reef. Down. All right, hop here, and you can do that, and we can get SpongeBob back in the mix. Huh? Huh? Ah. just got the hell out of there. It's time to roll out some robot punishment. So yeah, and here's where the bubble bowl is gonna come in handy. SpongeBob is back in the fight. Oh, watch out for this ice breath. He's gonna spit. And he's gonna get the spin, spin, spinning. Reef. Don't fall in there, because you'll have to start over again if you fall in. And once he falls... I see a prime bowling wow! Right here. Perfect, actually. He's gonna bowl, and boom! Hit him right in the back. Whoa! Woo! Alright, he's gonna spin, spin, spin. If we're lucky, he'll land like that again. So we don't have to worry about that. Prime bowling moment right here. Spam! Watch out for that. SpongeBob better stay far away from the robot's cold clutches. Go see do and around you go. Ooh. Oh, 
that was, a that was dumb. Great barrier reef. I should have kept moving where I was going. Yeah, just don't don't stop moving. Just keep moving. I see a there we go. All right, fight's right over. Here. He win. Oh! Boom, and he's done. Blown up. Thanks for saving me, guys. I never thought I'd say this, SpongeBob, but I owe you big time. Thanks, Sandy. We'd still be popsicles if it wasn't for her. Aw, oh, shucks. You fellers are gonna make me blush. I think I have fudge in my pants. Ooh, This man shit himself. Ooh, He got... <laughs> but yeah, let's continue on to the next part. I'm of sorry, the Plankton. The Chum Bucket Lab is locked up tight. I don't know if I'll ever get enough golden spatulas to get in. Yes, it's the Chum Bucket Security System. I designed it myself. It makes me so proud. It was meant to keep out the hateful throngs of the unwashed. Unfortunately, I never figured I'd be on this side of it. So what are you gonna do, Plankton? We, of course, meaning you, are gonna have to go out there and get those golden spatulas! Or I'll never get back into the chum bucket and regain control of my robots. What was that? Oh, uh, <clears throat> I said, will I ever get back into the chum bucket to stain all my pots? Yes. Mmm, something's fishy here. <laughs> so SpongeBob is, I guess, getting a cool little bit. But what this game doesn't tell you after you do that fight is that actually, uh, we talked to Mr. Krabs here, we'll see something else here. But, uh, let me hit this real quick. Yeah, it's a sock right here if you hit that. Hey, you! Patrick needs to do long bubble, buddy. I bet the next move you teach me will be the best one ever. Oh, here we go. I was going to talk about this. Yeah, so you get a new move. You're a final move of the game. Absolutely, SpongeBob. Super pinky shake on it? I would if I had pinkies. Ah. Here, I'll blow you some. Yeah, maybe later. Now, pay attention, SpongeBob. This bubble's a doozy. Paying my entire salary in attention. When you're not moving, press this button, and you'll blow a bubble that you can steer as it flies through the air. Wow. Aim carefully, though. You've only got a few seconds of flight time before the bubble pops. I'm a bubble blowing machine. I can't remember if the controls for this are inverted or not, but you guys see some stuff right here, right? There's three switches, so let's hit those three switches. Say hello to my little bubble friend. Okay, they're not inverted. And then one more. I gotta remember that they're not inverted. You can actually blow it up a little bit early too if you hit L1 again. But that creates this trampoline here. And the trampoline sends us to the top of the chum bucket. Where we can get a go to special. Excellent. But also, instead of just the golden spatula, if we come around here to the Krusty Krab, you might notice right there that there's a there's another underwear right there. So if we jump across, I missed. Well, it doesn't matter. We can just do it this way too. If you come up here, wow. That is our last underwear. underwear upgrade of the I game. I am one unbeatable sponge. I feel like a new sponge. If you come over here, you'll see that there's a theater right here. But we can't do anything with that yet. I'm going to tell you right now that when you get to that area, um, it's going to take a lot. Like, it's going to take a lot yeah, to actually go like to the theater. I think it takes about 40,000 shiny objects to do that. I'm not kidding. I am not kidding. Uh, there are three levels here, by the way. We could go here, and we can start SpongeBob's dream. We could go, actually, do we have enough for, for this? No, not yet. Or we could go over here and start Kelp Forest. I think in the next part, we're going to do Kelp Forest, but we are not going to end off just yet. We aren't even 10 minutes into this recording. So we're gonna head over to the Krusty Krab right now. Talk to Mr. Krabs. What's wrong, Mr. Krabs? You don't look so good. You gotta help me, boy. The Krusty Krabs been overrun by a bunch of them hoodlum robots of yours. They've booted me out! And worse! They've got all me beautiful shiny objects! Defiling the Krusty Krab? Is there no end to their evil? What are we going to do, Mr. Krabs? We, meaning you, are going ah. to clear the robots out, get me back me restaurant, and most importantly, Rescue me money! Oh, I should also mention this. 
The cruise bubble, which is the name of this move, can do this. Yeah, it can destroy the stone tiki's. But anyway, here we got a challenge here in the Krusty Krab. I feel like I should be working. So what we want to do is we want to actually come up here. We're gonna dodge that. Coming at ya! I missed. You've just met the Spongeinator. So we've destroyed that. I feel like a new sponge. Is there another one in here? There's not another one in here. I believe there were supposed to be some other guys who spawned in here, but they didn't. Fresh like a spring Now we breeze. could hop up there. But uh that'd be pretty difficult with all these sleepy time robots up here, right? So what we're gonna do is cruise bubble them. They can't stop that. Apparently that sign can though. I love opening presents. There we go. Ah, I missed it. Well, let's hop up here and do it this way then. SpongeBob to Mission Control, the launch is a go. They changed the way that sounds, by the way, in this game. I kind of dislike that. It used to be like SpongeBob to Mission Control, like launch control, and he used to like say like a uh, with like uh, some. Uh, it was like a old timey, or not old timey, but like you know. Jeez, I can't talk right now. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. It was kind of like uh, an air traffic control joint, whatever. Where it sounded like, Sponge Bound, Mesh Control, Launch Control. Yeah, like, like that. But uh, that was uh, one of the lines I guess they re recorded in this version. Oh, what the hell? Oh, there we go. We're up here in the crow's nest. We're just destroying some stuff just for the hell of it. If you actually look out here at one of the windows, too, watch how like we were in Sandy's house. There's the gas register. There's the uh, condiments. Here's the kitchen back there. We can't go in there. But yeah, if you look out the window, you can see a little mime right there. That was in the first game also, so don't worry about that. All right. Oh, oh, I want to destroy everything in here just because I want to. And because there's a sock if you do that. So hopefully Mr. Krabs doesn't take that out of our paycheck, which is, uh, I mean, I, I assume we're getting paid in pennies anyway. Up here, up, up here. And we're going to head up to the crow's nest. Boy, Patrick will be glad there we go. to have this back. And we're going to exit. And go talk to Mr. Krabs so we can get our golden spatula. Phew! You had me worried there for a bit, boy. Worried for me money, of course. Arr, 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 arr. Oh, Here, that laugh. Take this as your reward. Ah. There's a little laugh. Sorry about that. All right, and uh, now that we have the cruise level, we can actually go back and get a sock that we missed in uh, Jellyfish Fields. And we can also head back to downtown Bikini Bottom and get the very last spatula that we have there. So we're gonna go to Jellyfish Fields first just to get the sock because it's like, I mean, there. I believe the sock is on the way. I think it's in Jellyfish Lake. I think this is in Jellyfish Lake. All right. So we're gonna, oops, head this way. If it's not here, then it's in Jellyfish Rock. I gotta find an actual location. I know where it's at. 
Because there was a path over on the side, remember? Where there was the, uh, a tartar sauce robot. It has to be out here, because we didn't meet this robot until this part. Yeah, it's up here. So what you want to do is you want to come over here. We're going to get rid of you just because I don't like you. And we're going to stand right here. And it's going to create these guys. So all you got to do is use the cruise bubble. And destroy all these tiki's. There's another one. Here's number three. You can control this with the uh, D or D pad, jeez. You can control this with either the right stick or the left stick. Um, I prefer the right stick to do this, just because it's you know the normal camera control button. And there's our socks, and we have all the socks in Jellyfish Fields now. So now we're gonna head to Downtown Bikini Bottom. Okay. I'm gonna say we're gonna head to Downtown Bikini Bottom, and we're gonna go back here. Now, it literally says, come back with the cruise bubble. So, yeah. Do 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 do. Now, I believe we can actually get a sock here with Sandy, but... What you want to do here is you want to come over here and you might notice right there that there's a, a thing right there. Oh, I'm gonna this guy. oh, see, he just did it! I actually never heard him say it that way in this game until just now. But sometimes he says and he doesn't have that, that little effect. Which that effect is much better. Alright, so we're gonna head this way. Once we finish this out in the part there. We're gonna come over here. We're gonna get rid of this guy. This Chuck right here. I now pronounce this Chuck I'm not dead. Of heights. I am not afraid of heights. I am not afraid of heights. Huh. We're gonna jump over here. Land right there. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna shoot the cruise bubble over here. If you notice, there was a little switch thing out here. And we're gonna hit this switch right here. And now we have a golden spatula right there. Fresh, like can we roll this? Yeah, we can roll these guys. Now we head over here. We have a platform. And with that platform, it's gonna take us right here. And we have a golden spatula. Now our last sock is actually over here too. We need Sandy though, if, if you can see that. So, we're gonna come over here. We're gonna go to grab Miss Sandra Cheeks. Swap! <laughs> now with Sandy, we're gonna come right over here. Oh, perfect timing. And it's gonna, we're going to let this carry us where that spatula was. And we're going to glide. We're going to grab one here. And we're going to hop into this little uh, alcove right here. Get rid of that guy. And there's the final sock well, in downtown Bikini Patrick Bottom. And with that being done, pretty much ev yeah, every area that we've been in, uh, there's one more sock left to get in Bikini Bottom. There's one more spatula to get in Bikini Bottom also, too. We have pretty much finished every area that we can now. As you can see, we can go to Jellyfish Fields, we can check, and we see we got all spatulas, all socks. We can go to Downtown Bikini Bottom, all spatulas, all socks. Go Lagoon, all spatulas, all socks. The Industrial Park's a boss, so you don't gotta worry about that. Same with the Poseidon. We can go to Rock Bottom, oh, I said Rock Bottom, all socks and all spatulas. The Mermelair, all socks, all spatulas. And Sand Mountain, all socks and all spatulas. So that leaves these three levels, which are the Flying Dutchman's Graveyard, the Kelp Forest, and Spongebob's Dream. I apologize if you heard that in the background. Uh, anyway, we're going to go back here and we're actually going to see if we can get what we uh, missed. I do know where one of them is. We're
Yeah, so if you heard that in the background, I, I, I wholeheartedly apologize for that. What you want to do is you want to come out here to where this uh, statue right here is. This little water fountain. Yeah, you just want to pound on top of that. Boy, and we now have all the socks in the bottom. And I'm going to come down here and we're actually going to head up to the chum buckets. Yes, the chum bucket, where it literally says robot headquarters. And we're going to get a little bit of a news report too, also. They serve food here, yes, but they... Flash! Authorities have confirmed that the robots running amok through Bikini Bottom are indeed coming from the chum bucket. Yes, right where you're- And then stop Oops, on I didn't your mean to children. do that. And stop on your children's children. This has been a Bikini Bottom news flash. All right, there we go. So we can actually check the menu here too. We got chum burger, chum fries, a chum shake. Listen, bro. I almost read that as something else. And I was, I was like, whoa, wait a minute. Bikini Bottom feeling a little different. But uh, chum on a steak. Chumbalaya, chum chili, and chum pie. And we have a warning. We don't know what that warning is because it's written chicken scratch. But we're going to blow up all these guys right here because we can. And what you want to do, actually, is you want to come over here. Um, yeah, you notice there's a golden spatula right there. So what we are going to do with this golden spatch to get this golden spatula, all you gotta do is come over here. There's, you gotta be careful right here because the camera will switch up on you. It switches immediately. I. Hold on. I, I hate that, that the camera switches when you jump like that because I can't make this jump otherwise. Can I come over here and do it? No, it doesn't let me do that. Can I go around? Yeah, I can't do it that way. We gotta just get on this way. There we go. And all you do is you can actually wall jump here. And that's how you get that golden spatula, which is number 60. So now we can actually start any of those three levels that we uh, unlock. I didn't wanna do that. Well, anyway, let's get up by the jump bucket. And I think, yeah, in the next one, though, I am going to start with a level that used to be the bane of my existence. Uh, at least in this game, as far as this game is concerned. I used to not like this level, not in the slightest. This was very confusing as a child to do. But in the next one, we are going to go into the Kelp Forest and see what all we have to do there. This has been your guy Ninja Killer 74 and I'd like to thank everybody who watched the video. You know, my brothers, my sisters, and everybody in between. And I will catch you guys down the road in the Kelp Forest. See you guys next time. Deuces.